Hi Capricorn. Okay, so let me take a look at what we have. See if I can get these framed up here. So Capricorn, we have an interesting spread. And I think uh, theme-wise it's about some big ideas, ideas that have to be let go and that have to be addressed. And so we start off with the Nine of Cups, which is really a lovely card. It's a very pleasant card to have. It's a card about being happy with what you've earned and enjoying the fruits of your labor, enjoying what, uh, or, what or how your home looks. You can see this man here is sitting here and he is uh, looking quite pleased, as he should, because he has a lot of abundance. He has nine full cups. And so whether you have spent a lifetime working to enjoy the fruits of your labor, or you simply feel really good at this point, there's a sense here that you are going to enjoy what you have earned and what you have worked for. With the Nine of Cups, there's also an opportunity to make a wish. Uh, we call it the wish card and uh, wishes can come true. And so uh, it looks like his wish has come true, but certainly wishes can come true. And it's, it's important to remember that what we strive for and what we look for, we hope that our efforts will result in abundance, not only in the comfort of our lives, but spiritually as well. So this wish and this contentment here uh, is interesting because it's right next to the Ten of Wands. So here we have this fire energy, and with the Ten of Wands, there's this sense here of feeling burdened, of feeling perhaps over-obligated, and that you're doing more than your fair share. And it's exhausting when you do everything. And when people are relying on you to do everything, Capricorn. And Capricorns can feel very duty bound that it's their, that they must take care of friends or family or things at the, at the office. So when you find yourself in this position, it's, it can be very tiring. It can cause resentment because you are hoping you'll get help but maybe no one's willing to help. So, you know, with this card, delegate. Ask people to help share the load. A lot of commitments, a lot of things to be done. Ask someone to help you and um, lighten your load, and that can might maybe prevent feeling stressed out or overburdened. When you feel this type of energy, you know, this can lead to exhaustion, ex exhaustion, and it can also lead to ill health because, you know, when you're tired and you're run down because you're doing everything, it doesn't serve you. So try to delegate. So ha being feeling content yet working hard and perhaps feeling over obligated, overworked, stressed out, lots of debts, Ten of Wands. The King of Wands brings in a different type of energy. So whether this is energy that you would benefit from or uh, someone within your circle, the King of Wands brings this energy of make it happen. Get out there and do it. If you are hoping to um, start new projects, then start new projects. Don't waste time. Get involved. Network, make the call. This king is very experienced. He's fair. He's a great listener. He's charismatic and fun to be around. Really could be described as the life of the party. So whether you are um, involved with this kind of character within your life, or if this may be a push to you to, to uh, you know, bring the spark, but he is very, very capable in... Matters relating to, you know, uh, multitasking, building businesses, leadership, and overseeing. So uh, it's being active. It's getting the job done. It's, it's making progress on whatever you hope to achieve or to do. 
So this is a can-do attitude with this King of Wands. And then we see this major arcana card of the Hanged Man. So in May, it seems that you're going to have to try on um, perhaps a new way of thinking, a new approach. So this card is next to this Ten of Wands, and it makes me feel that, um, you know, that maybe you've been feeling that you have to take care of obligations. You have to do things. And this may be telling you, you know, uh, you need to start take care, taking care of yourself. You need to look through your situation through a different lens, a different perspective. That uh, while you, uh, there's always a sense here, this yellow halo around the man who's hanging is that there's a sense of acceptance of being okay with whatever he's sacrificing or putting on hold. But I feel that the bigger message is how you're thinking and how you're approaching the events or the things going on within your life of being really busy, having too much going on, always seeking to be active, getting involved, and that um, a shift and how you think is going to be happening. And it's very clear it's going to be happening because we have the death card. Again, another major arcana card. The death card is symbolic of life. and life, we have beginnings and endings. And, you know, the seasons change. Um, pets have a certain lifespan. We, as humans, have a certain lifespan. And... Uh, you know, cycles are going to end. And we feel sadness, we may feel shock, we may feel abandoned, we may, uh, it may stall our progress as people. But ultimately, um, death brings a new, a chance for something new to come in. So whether it's the death of an old way of doing things, to allow this new way of thinking to come in, or whether it represents uh, some area of your life that's going to close, and you got you have to get ready for the new piece um, that could very well be. And in looking at this card, you know we have the Death card, and it's right next to the Three of Swords. And actually, the Three of Swords is in reverse. So, the three of, three of Swords in its upright position is about devastation, broken heart, uh, uh, complete sadness as if someone had put a knife in your heart. It's one of the most uh, clear cards that you can read in tarot. So, in its reverse position, which is how it was here, you get a sense that it's a little easier to pull the swords out. So while you may have felt hurt the de and you may feel like your world has collapsed or something is ending that's causing you such pain, you will get over it. You absolutely will get over it because that's part of the process is that we grieve, we feel sad, and then we pick up our bags and we keep rolling on. And, um, you know, to, uh, to have this, this experience, the experience of, ooh, something's ending for me. Maybe a relationship is ending. Maybe my favorite job is ending. Maybe my best friend and I have had a horrible row and we can't, we're never going to recover from that. Um, and your heart may feel broken, but with time and with um, meditation perhaps and other ways to do things that you love, you can grow from this, you can learn from this, and this opens the stage for something new. Something new is going to come into you. So here's this little piece of hmm, disappointment or sadness, something ending, a perhaps a way of thinking that's ending, 
and we have more thinking here for you, Capricorn. A lot of thinking going on, a lot of consideration. And the Hermit is a, a, a card for you to look deep within and to settle your own affairs. Look within for the light. You know, he's holding the lantern here. He's looking to be enlightened or illuminated. And so, you know, you have to create the space where you can really consider, contemplate, reflect, and reflect about what's going on within your life. And you may very well be reflecting on loss, or sadness, endings. And that's okay because that's how we begin to resolve these things. That's how we put them in perspective and how we can move on. I love the Hermit card because I think it's important for everybody to take the, uh, the, the time that's needed to really pay attention to what's going on in your heart and your actions and what's been happening. And so here, here we're kind of starting off very favorably, enjoying life, and then we just kind of weave into this, hmm, working really hard, active, a lot going on, many, maybe many irons in the fire. But at some point, we get into our headspace. And the headspace for us is um, looking at things from a different way maybe having to let a way of thinking end, or we are dealing with the loss of relationships and interactions or things that bring us pleasure. And we really have to do some heavy thinking in order to resolve the heart being hurt. And then finally, the emperor comes in and I think this is emperor is also a major arcana and I think the emperor brings back some sense of structure some sense of organization to your life where this might have derailed you but getting back with the emperor it's like bringing uh, directed energy or focus the emperor is someone that we would always maybe consider like a father type figure wise fair benevolent listens, um, hardworking, but likes things to follow in order, likes things to have some structure, some organization. And this may be what you need in, in uh, getting some structure back to your life after this three of heart, I'm sorry, three of swords, the death card, the hermit, and the hangman. We have some big ideas happening within your reading. So we have, we have swords, we have cups, we have wands, we have majors, we don't have pentacles. So this may simply involve your relationships and interactions that uh, something is going to change, something is going to end that is gonna cause you grief and you're gonna to have to dig deep, you're gonna to have to look within, maybe questioning yourself, and you may need a new way of looking at your life and getting out of this burden that you feel in order for you to move on. And the emperor comes in to say, we need to bring back some order to your life. We need to get um, uh, good counsel and maybe some good practices coming in. So very interesting for you, Capricorn. Let's take a look at what the Oracle cards would like us to know. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. And that's really a lovely message because that's going toward having faith in yourself and particularly having faith in yourself when things are challenging, when life uh, disappoints or when maybe uh, good things end. But there are endings and there are beginnings and, you know, the death card brings in 
will close something near and dear to you and will bring in something new. And so to have this faith, when you have faith, it is freeing and it does make you feel fearless because you really are trusting yourself and you're trusting the universe as well um, to put you on the right path. And finally, for love, I'm going to choose an oracle card and we'll get a sense of what uh, the cards would like us to know. Forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release the past hurts. So may, 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 may include uh, some forgiveness for this three of hearts, three of swords, I always say the three of hearts, three of swords for being overburdened, you know, forgiveness easier for some than others, and it may take time to get to a point to show forgiveness. Uh, it's a process that we go through. And um, when you show forgiveness, it really does. It, it frees you as having faith in yourself frees you. So does forgiving. Because you're not holding on to that hurt. You're not holding on. You're letting these swords fall right out. You know, to slip right out so that you can move on. So Capricorn, this is what I see for you for May. And I hope that something here resonated with you. And if it did, then please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment.